Hi guys, Rian here and today I want to talk about the new free-to-play Claymore, the luxurious sea lord, also known as the fish. If you did not already know, you will be able to obtain an R5 version of this weapon from the new event. This is the first free refinement fire Claymore that we have gotten from the game and this weapon is really good on many characters. However, as of today, you can only get up to refinement 2 and that is what I'm going to be showcasing today. You can get refinement 5 from the event throughout the week. I highly urge everyone to upgrade this weapon as soon as you can because there's a 1.5 times upgrade bonus for a limited time, meaning it will cost less materials and mora to upgrade. Today I'll be comparing the R2 Luxurious Sea Lord with my R2 Prototype Archaic. In terms of stats, the Luxurious Sea Lord has a lower base attack than the Prototype Archaic, however it has a higher attack percent. They both have a very similar passive that has a bonus attack proc, however this is very minor in terms of the total DPS of a character. Let's see the attack. When I use the prototype archaic, my Eula has 2161 attack. Remember this number? Now I'm going to switch to the luxurious sea lord. As you can see, my attack went up very so slightly to 2167 attack. Overall, when it comes to base stats, it balances out and I would say they are on equal terms. But the part where the luxurious sea lord becomes way better than the prototype archaic is with its passive. At refinement 2, your character will have a 15% bonus elemental burst damage. If you upgrade this to refinement 5, it goes all the way up to 24% bonus elemental burst damage, which is way better than the prototype archaic. The way I see it, it is just an upgraded version of prototype archaic. So why don't we take it for a spin and compare the damage numbers. So for this showcase, I'm going to be using a crit rate food, just for more consistent crits. Let's start with the prototype archaic. I'm going to be using my normal attacks, 14.7k, 18.5k, so that's the first hit and the fourth hit. Let's repeat the same with the fish, 14.7k, 18.5k, so this is exactly the same as prototype archaic. What about her burst? So let's try it first, I'll just use my whole E. 106k. So this is without any stacks, just her whole E. Now let's try it with the fish. Burst, then whole E. Switch. 113k. So this is significantly better for Eula. Now let's repeat this with Burnett's buff. Switch, 159k. Then let's try it with the fish now. All E. 168k. So it's clearly better on Eula. For the next test, I'll be using Beidou. 9.5k with my elemental skill and 10.1k on my elemental burst. This is the prototype archaic. Yep, 10.1k. Next, I'll be using the fish. 9.1k and 10.5k. So although my elemental skill is less, my elemental burst is more, which is more important on Beidou. Beidou's elemental burst is more important than her skill, to me at least. What about with Burnett? I know a lot of people say, oh, but sometimes Burnett's buff can, will change the stats. So let's see, 15.4k on her elemental skill and 16.4k on her burst. This is with the prototype archaic. Now we use the fish. 14.9k with her skill and 17.3k with her burst. So for some reason her elemental skill drops but her elemental burst increases. Next let's try this on Xinyan. I'm using the prototype archaic, 33.9k. 
Next, we are using the fish now. 35.1k. So, the luxurious sea lot is better. Let's try it with Burnett's Burst. The prototype archive is doing 50k. Now let's try the fish. Fifty one point nine K, so slightly more. For our last contestant, we'll be trying Chong Yun. So I'm using the prototype archaic now. Fifteen point two K per sword. Next, I'll be using the fish. Fifteen point seven K per sword, so slightly better also. Now I'll be doing reverse melt with Burnett. 32.7k per sword. How about the fish? With Burnett, I'm doing 34.5k per sword. And finally, I'm going to do the Trinity, Burnett Mona Kazuha. I need to apply Cryo first and Swirl. Mona. Burnett. And 81.9k. Now let's repeat it with the fish. Cryo. Swirl. Mona. Burnett. And 83.1k. So, as you can see, the Luxurious Sea Lot is an exceptional weapon. If you are using the Prototype Archaic or even the Snow Tomb Star Silver, I would say this is an upgrade. Even for characters like Razor and Diluc, who aren't really built around their bursts, this weapon is going to be very strong. I really hope no one misses out on this event, especially if you are free to play. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.